It is a place where people can climb, speed, and soar through the air, all while on bikes. As Stella Cuisto tells us, the new bicycle park is also a recycle park. It's a lot of fun, yeah. I'm, I'm so pumped that this is opened. It's, it's so great. I'm coming all the way from Brampton, so it's, uh, it's a half hour drive, but it's worth it. From the skills trail to the pump track. Mark Norris and his friends now have a place to do jumps and tricks at the new Sunnyside Bike Park. Oh, this is awesome. This is just what the city needs. The bike park is now open to the public, and you've probably zoomed by it on the Gardner. It's located at Lakeshore and Ellis. The park is for everyone. There are trails for the beginner rider and jumps for the experts. These jumps scare me right now, hopefully. Later on this summer, I'll be hitting them like nobody's business. I'm riding my bike and I'm trying to do some tricks on the jumps and trails. The park is made out of dirt, wood and rock and was designed by a well-known BC designer, Jay Hoots. Ah, this is the third bike park in the city. What's neat about this one? It was built on recycled materials. All this dirt came from a local construction site, so it hasn't come from far. <laughs> and some of the wood comes from trees damaged in this past winter's ice storm. The city says the whole point of building this spot is to prevent kids from trying to do it on their own. Kids will go in with a shovel and a pallet and some wood and they'll build this in our parkland. Um, unfortunately, it's somewhat unsafe. It's also um, not very good for the environment. The project has cost the city $500,000 so far, but work still needs to be done. City officials say they still need to plant more trees, fix the entrance, build a picnic area, and install fountains. Although the park is already open, city officials say the grand opening celebrations will happen at the beginning of September. At Sunnyside Pike Park, I'm Stella Cuisto, City News.